What's going on guys, Flynn One back with another video, and today is a very special day. It is March 21st, and the new Black Ops Pass just came out for the Xbox One. It released yesterday or a couple days ago for the PS4 and PC, so I'm very excited to bring you the latest updates. Um, I did post a link on Twitter, and I will have the link in the description below, and today I'm going to be going over uh, just some of the perks and special abilities that have changed and go over the weapons if you guys want to see everything else just click on the link and you'll be able to see what's going on like with the attachments the maps and everything like that so what you're seeing right now is just some gameplay with the new patch i am running the cuda and i think i messed around with a little bit with the vmp so you can see that the movement has changed but we're going to go over this right now Starting off with the perks, the only one that got a change was the anti up. It's increased starting streak point or score streak amount from 100 to 150, which is actually uh, a little bit harder to get, but it depends on how good you are. So that one will not be too big of a problem for many people. But um, the big ones are going to be our specialists. The uh, general ended up getting reduced uh, specialist earn rate and hard point game on hard point game type, so it's going to be a little bit easier to get to your specialist. Uh, your reaper, it's reduced accuracy when firing unzoomed, and then reduced ammo count from 120 to 100. So it's going to take a little bit away from the reaper, which is actually my favorite on his scythe ability, and you're not going to be able to kind of do that one shot or that just cross mapping like you used to be able to. But it's not too bad. I've around with it a little bit and it's still still pretty overpowered uh the outrider got quite a bit it's uh increased first raise speed uh increased ads speed increased sprint recovery speed and increased ammo count so it got a buff a little bit of a nerf not too bad the specter got reduced leftover power when specter is killed while reaper is active so that means you're not going to be as kind of op when you get out of it uh the ruin increased overdrive earn rate nomad increased reject earn rate uh, Reaper got the psychosis earn rate, um, firebreak reduced heat wave earn rate, so it's gonna take a little bit less time to get that, and then battery reduced connect armor earn rate, which connect armor is one of my favorites to use, but is a pain in the ass. And now we are going to get into the guns, and this is where it's gonna be fun. Um, starting off with the submachine guns, considering I feel this gun, this game is a shotgun and submachine gun heavy game, uh, of course with some of the assault rifles, so. Uh, looks like everything got a pretty good buff. Uh, they fixed a lot and turned some stuff just overpowered as hell. Uh, the submachine guns, the CUDA got one uh, got reduced one hit kill range in hardcore mode, which means you have to actually get a little more in hardcore considering it's just one shot and just and you're dead. Uh, laser sight bonus is more aligned. Um, looks like that's actually one of the attachments is the laser sight is so you're gonna have a better accuracy rate with your laser sight. And then reduced ADS movement, but no longer lose speed while firing. This is actually an amazing thing. You can actually see this in the gameplay. Is your regular walk speed and your aim speed are the exact same now. And it really helps out in firefights. And that's, I think, with all of the... It's, it's with two of them. I think it's the Kuda and the VMP. We'll get through the list and I'll be able to tell you. But it really helps. I've seen a big difference because I suck at this game. And it's really helped me out. Um, but the VMP didn't get anything too much. It got the reduced ADS speed, or the reduced ADS movement, but it no longer lose speed when firing. Uh, the Weevil, holy crap, Weevil, uh, the Weevil got removed speed reduction while firing. It got increased ADS speed, increased sprint for recovery speed, and increased 5-hit kill range. Um, yeah, the Weevil is definitely getting insane. The Vesper is also uh, getting <laughs> some... Some crazy stuff. It's remove reduction speed while firing, increase ADS speed, increase sprint recovery speed, and increased ability to uh, increased ability to control recoil. Which means that gun is not going to be shaking around as much, and you are going to be able to spray it with no problems. The Pharaoh got remove speed reduction while firing and increase ADS speed. And now the Razorback. Holy crap! This is one of the most underrated guns, and I definitely want to bring some gameplay when I get it unlocked. Um, removed speed reduction when firing, increased four hit kill range, and reduced one hit kill range in hardcore mode. Holy crap, this is nuts. When this actually goes through, this gun is going to be as powerful as the Kuden and the VMP, and I highly recommend you guys trying it out if you haven't already. Uh, the HD40 got increased three hit kill rate, kill damage range, so that is going to be another fun for a DLC weapon. Um, now the other one I'm going to go into is the assault rifles. 
Um, doesn't look like Sniper's got anything big. So we're going to go with the HVK-30. It's increased sprint recovery speed, increased aim stability, increased recoil stability. So the HVK-30 is has gotten a huge buff by being able to, you know, actually sit there and get your long shots done and everything set up perfectly. The ICR has the recoil st stability. The Shiva got increased ADS speed, increased flinch stability, and rapid fire functions now work properly. Oh my god, the Shiva was one of my most hardest weapons to learn and now that i've gotten to use it with the new patch it has gotten much better my accuracy has gone up like crazy and so people who you guys that play a lot you guys are going to notice that and you're going to be able to wreck with that thing because a shiva with rapid fire that's just freaking deadly it is just butter now the shotguns you got the krm 262 increased one hit kill range potentially which I guess potentially means you have a chance. I guess they put a percentage on it or something. Haymaker is increased three kit hill range. Three kit hill range? Yes, that's what we're going to go with. Uh, the Argus has one hit kill range potential when hip firing, which means you are going to be able to spray that thing from the hip and have no problems if you have freaking gung ho on that. I am scared to face you in a match. Um, now, the last one I want to go through is the LMGs. The BRM increased ADS speed and increased recoil stability, which means you're going to be able to fire that thing at long range, get more accuracy. The Dingo, which surprises me because that game, I played that with that a couple days ago and it just sucks. Uh, but now you have increased tightness and bullet spread while ADS and increased hip fire accuracy. And I have noticed a very major difference. The gun feels way more stable. It does feel kind of heavy still. But it is a very fluent gun. The Gorgon it has increased ADS speed, uh, or increased ADS out speed, um, increased recoil stability, and increased damage through light cover, which means it's going to have that automatic FMJ kind of feel to it. Then you throw the actual high caliber on there, and you're going to be shredding some shit into Swiss cheese. Uh, the 48 Dredge was the last gun that got the buff, and that's the increased fire rate, increased ADS out speed. There are a lot of changes in this patch, and I am excited for all of them because it really helps out the underdog players, the ones that aren't as good or the ones that are just starting out. This is a good time for you to be getting into Black Ops 3, especially with everything that's been going on with all the new DLC, especially coming next month. The patch is only, I think it was like 1.3, 1.4 gigs, so it's not a very big upload, but or it's not a very big download, but you also got to think the DLC is right around the corner starting out next month. We only got 28 more days to wait. So I'm very excited about that, and Zombies Mode actually got a bunch of huge stuff happen to it, so that's going to be really cool if you guys are zombie fans. But go ahead, check out this patch, let me know what you think down below. If you want to see any of the gameplay of the new guns and what they are capable of, let me know in the comments below. Also, hit me up on Twitter. Um, I'd be glad to talk with you guys, and you can also hit me up so we can play in game. You guys know the gamer tag is Surflin one uh, the more people I get f doing the follows, the more people I can get into an open lobby. So let me know, guys. I definitely want to play some more open lobbies and do some really fun game modes. So I uh, also want to get to kind of get to know you guys and play around. So let me know what you guys think. I hope you guys did enjoy the video. If you did, hit that like button. If you're not already, please subscribe. Uh, this one's a good one. Hopefully I'll get it by today. But thank you guys so much for watching. This is Flynn One signing out. I'll talk to you in the next one. Hostile care package overhead. <laughs> Hostile lightning strike targeting active. Hostile lightning strike inbound. Securing B. Bravo, lock down.
toolbar. Assets degraded. We kicked some serious ass, guys. Get back to boot camp. <laughs> 